Hey guys, welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video, we want to write a program that's going to determine if a word or a string is a palindrome. And a palindrome is just a word that can be written in reverse and still be the same word. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's go ahead and write our description of what this program is going to do. So again, uh, this program determines if a word or a string is a palindrome. All right. And let me give you an example. So example one, we're going to have some input. And maybe it's mom. And then we're going to have some output. And it's going to say, uh, yes, mom is a palindrome because the word reversed is the same. Okay, and then we're going to have maybe an example two. And we're going to have some input, and maybe it'll be Tom this time. And our output would say no. Um, Tom is not a palindrome. All right, so let me go ahead and get started with the program now. So we're going to include our library stdio.h and we're going to include our string.h library as well. So string.h and that's because this will have our string length function that we're going to use to get the length of our string. Now let's create our main function and set it up correctly. So we're going to return zero here and now we've set up our main function. And I want a function that's basically going to tell me um, yes or no. So it's, it's going to print this output here, yes or no. So I don't need it to return any value. So it can have a void function. I'm going to call it is palindrome. And it has to take in our string. So it needs a character array. I'm going to call it str array. And this, of course, will be our string. All right, so now let's just take that, copy it, and let's actually start writing the algorithm for the code. And what we're going to do is compare the left index of the string with the right index of the string. So let me give you guys an example here of what we're going to do. All right, so example, if we have our string like mom, of course, that would look like this in an array in our string array is will be the m character followed by the o character followed by another m character okay and the string length is equal to three right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to check if the string or the character um, at position zero if it's not equal to the character at position uh, 2. So this is comparing character M, which is at position 0, with uh, character M, which is at position 2. All right. So if they're not equal, then the string is not a palindrome. OK? And if it's not, then we need to uh, basically print that and return out of the function. But if the above statement uh, is not true, so this means that uh, that the 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 character or the characters that we are comparing are the same, then we need to increase our leftmost index. So this is our 0 in this case. And decrease our rightmost index, which is the 2. So that 0 is going to become 1, and that 2 is going to become 1. And let's be a little bit more clever with this. Instead of saying 2, we know that 2 is just 3 minus 1, and 3 is our string length. So this is just our string length, 
minus 1. And so instead of saying 2, we're going to say string length, um, which is a string length minus 1. There we go. And so these are the two values that we can initialize our leftmost index and our rightmost index to. Okay, and then we need to know when to stop. So uh, continue this until the leftmost index is greater than the right most index okay so when these two indexes cross each other um, then we know that uh, they are uh, we know that we've reached the string the middle of the string so we should be done all right okay so I think that's that should basically be be it. All right, so now let's go ahead and create our leftmost index integer value and initialize it at zero. And let's create our rightmost uh, integer value and initialize it at string length. And again, we get that strlen uh, function from our library, our string.h library. All right, so this is our rightmost index, and here is our leftmost index okay and I want this to, I want us to keep checking while the rightmost index is greater than the uh, leftmost index okay and also up here I put continue this until the leftmost index is greater than the rightmost index it should actually be greater than or equal to the rightmost index and so um, that's exactly what we have here. It's written just a different way. Okay, so this is the same thing, uh, just um, slightly slightly different. Basically, I'm saying um, here we want to uh, we want to stop when this happens, and here I'm just saying continue while this is happening. So continue. So stop when the leftmost index is greater than or equal to the rightmost index, or um, continue while the rightmost index is greater than the leftmost index. Uh, basically the same thing. So don't get confused with that. All right, so now let's create our if statement. Uh, we said if the string length at position LM does not equal the, not string length, the string at index uh, RM, then we need to print uh, up here, which is no, and instead of saying Tom, I'm going to do percent %s, and we're going to print the string, let me put a backslash in here for new line, and then we want to print the string, and then we need our semicolon, and what we're going to do is we're going to return out of the function uh, the moment we see that the letters don't match. Okay, so now in here we need to um, increment the leftmost, so we're going to do lm plus plus, and we need to decrement the rightmost uh, index, so we're going to do minus minus, and make sure I'm still within the while loop, okay. And then of course if we get out of the while loop, then we know that the word is a palindrome, so I'm just going to copy and paste that here. And switch this to percent %s, and do a new line here, and then um, str. Okay, I think that should do it. So let's give this a try. Let's see, is palindrome, and we're going to put in mom, and let's just take this, what we just wrote, and paste it here. And instead of mom, we're going to put tom, and let's run this and see what we get back. Okay, so yes, mom is a palindrome because the word reverse is the same and no tom is not a palindrome. All right, and one more thing. Let's be a little bit more clever just to clean this up a little bit. Instead of putting the plus plus and minus minus here, 
let's uh, increment and decrement them right here. And let's see if that works. Okay, yes, mom is a palindrome because the word reverse is the same, and no, Tom is not a palindrome. So it looks like that works. Um, let's try for just one letter, like M. Let's run this. Yes, mom is a palindrome because the word reverse is the same, and yes, M is a palindrome because the word reverse is the same. All right, so perfect. It looks like um, that's it. I hope. It wasn't too confusing for you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any questions you have, uh, comments, likes. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, one more thing. I'll be sure to put the uh, link to the code. It'll be in my GitHub. I'll put that in the description below. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.